Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, guys. My name is Jeff. We're here doing property lines, clearing some fence lines, setting some posts, and everything. We've got pasture six that's kind of green, doing good. But with the buffalo, we need to get more pastures, and five is looking real green. Now, obviously, this is the one that we had, what they call it, uh, mulched with a skid steer. You probably saw that three or four months ago. Now that it's raining, everything's growing. I need to mow it again but I'd prefer not to if I can just get the buffalo here. So stick with us. We're gonna clear some lines and see how this goes because this is not sand in the ground. It's rock. Because of the rain, but you can still hear it's rocky down there, unless that's just roots. Don't you guys have that little saw? Here, okay. Give me some resistance. Yeah, you get all the pipes. Make a bad day. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I got because we took out Mount Everest over here. <laughs> okay. She's not moving. All right, so we're out in five. This is the fence line that we'd already done. We've gone to the corner and we kind of crossed over, which is a ravine, and set that post. So our goal right now is just getting the corner post set. So that'll be a corner and then we'll have to turn, kind of angle the post we just set behind the tractor and we'll kind of have to angle again over by the truck. So this is kind of a tricky outline. So what we're doing today is outlining. So we're getting post, 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 so then I can come back and do H's and get them set and then start running line. It's a, a tricky outline, but we're gonna get it done. It's actually super rocky terrain. The rains have helped, I think, but it's still really difficult. Let's get working. So we made it to our next hole spot, right over here somewhere. And then you look down the line, and we've got some trees in the way. So we're talking about cutting down one of those trees, like that really awesome tall sweet gum that we hate anyways.
other way. Okay. Hey, let's push it this way. We can both push it. So once you get a chainsaw going, you just don't want to stop. But, so where we're gonna put the post over there, this marker is our property corner. Our property line is generally this, but we have a button that sticks out and comes back. So it kind of comes. This is the corner, so if we go about, I think it's 50 feet, and then 75 feet, and then it comes back this direction. So all of this is technically ours, even though it's beyond the general property line. So cutting all the trees out. And uh, so if you guys watched that video about how not to cut down a tree, see, I do know that there's a better way. All right, I wanna do some investigation right now and I wanna go check where my corner post is on this little button. When the guy marks and surveys the land, he will put a little flag at every corner to kind of wherever there's a change of direction. And he put it here and I told him also to put it every 250 feet. So I know when I first did this two and a half years ago, there was one at a corner. The next one that's down over there is actually off the cliff where we were just putting the post. So it should be right down here. And if I remember right, it's gonna be on a cliff top and then it drops and then it's across the ravine is the next one and it comes back. So let's see if we can go find it to make sure this is still the corner. Right. Dog, you're gonna stay to the left a little bit. This is the ravine that starts to go down. We are on this post here. Where'd the flag go? Right there, the orange oh. is hiding. There-ish is the orange flag. And it should be right up in here. Okay guys, watch out, this stuff's gonna split. Ah. Briars. Thick back here, guys. Kind of thick. A little orange flag, and it might be on a T post, in fact. All right, it's got to be around here somewhere, guys. To the right is this ravine that goes downhill. Aha! Right here. There is the corner stake. Back here, this goes up and down this ravine into the other bank and it pops right over there. We're gonna come by at a later date, put a T-post there, just do a general fence, because I'm not coming in here. We're just gonna do a couple strands of barbed, enough to make it visible. But uh, again, like I said, I'm not gonna come back here for much of anything, but I just wanna mark the property. So we found it, let's get back to the task at hand. Here's the corner. We gotta figure out where we wanna gate. I wanna be able to have access. I don't wanna kinda of lose it and kinda, of, yeah, lose it. So at some point here, we might put a gate and just put like a little six foot or a four foot gate so we could walk in there if we had to to kinda of just check things. But like I said, every 250 feet, they put one of these posts. This would be the corner. And the next one is over by those group of trees just to the left of it. So I know that that's not 250 feet. So this obviously must be the corner. And then it goes down along that way. Now we had the mulcher guy come up and he kind of trimmed out everything he could, but he didn't know exactly, you know, sitting in a skid steer, you can't tell exactly where everything is. So he generally knew what we're gonna have to do is just like we did here with the chainsaw, go through. So that means this pine tree's, or this cedar tree's going 
pine tree. And I'm gonna try and clear everything off that comes this direction. It's just gonna make doing barbed wire easier because we're gonna roll this stuff out. And I don't wanna to have to... Fight it. Yeah, I don't wanna to have to fight it. I don't want the kids to have to fight it. I mean, I've already got just that from going through the woods here. There's all sorts of stuff, so. Anyway, that's what we're gonna keep doing and get all the way down there. All right, time to get the cedar tree out of here. Okay, so guys, this 171, steel MS 171, it's lighter weight. I have that farm boss, it's like a, what is it, 270 or something, I don't know. It's just so much heavier. This has been really, actually kind of nice. Need to tighten this up, but this guy, I like its weight, I like it, but if I had a complaint is, I think it's a little underpowered. So the 171, if I remember right, was the newer technology and everything else, and the 170 was the old school one. I've heard from people, and correct me if I'm wrong guys, that the 170 had more torque feeling. This one can kind of bog down easier, even when it was a brand new chain. So you just gotta be more finessing. You can't shove it and just plow through stuff, but it cuts and it's a lot easier. Put the weight here at the bottom of the screen. But I think that farm boss was like 10 to 12 pounds. I think this one's a lot lighter, so. Anyway, so our marker, come on with me. So our marker's right here. I think I can go along the back side of the pine tree. So I may just leave it. And then a lot of this is just little itty bitty brush. So what we're gonna do right now, I think, is we're gonna go ahead and put a post over here at this marker. We just gotta find a way to clear some spot for me to get the tractor in. All right, I think this tree here, we can bring the tractor around, angle in. I'm gonna cut it off and then we're gonna have to swing this. I might cut it into two pieces, but we can get this out of the way, I think we can get access where we need. Alright, so bringing our post into the property line right here. Let's line up with that guy down there.
board. There we go. All right, we bought the post set. Now, normally, I would just go to the far end and put a post over there. Except when they've done these surveys or something multiple times, there's three different T posts, kind of varied spots with flags on them. Um, so I'm going to take this bit by bit. I think the distance from here to here is about 100 feet, and it may be a 250 feet that way. He would have started at a corner and measured 250, dropped a flag. This isn't it, so I'm assuming he started from the other corner. So what I'm going to do here is I can't see from flag to post, so I'm just going to go in at a time with a chainsaw and do about a 16 inch swath, kind of clear it out as we go down, and then see if I can see it again. So it's just real thick, just little guys. I shouldn't hit anything too huge. So this hopefully will go a little quicker until I get to that group of trees over there. So anyway, let's get cracking. Tree needs to go. I think it comes right about here. Hmm. This is gonna be an interesting tree because it's uh, bulged, it's got a way bend. It's got to cut low, I guess. Yeah, if I cut it more notched down. Yeah. The other problem is I think I've nicked the saw into the dirt, so it might be a, a little dull. At least it is leaning this way. Yeah. After it comes back, it starts to lean back that way. So that's a good sign. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right. I'm not trying to cut any more than I need to, because I don't want to, you know, it's my neighbor's property, you know? You don't want to go back in there. But my goal is to take just that one tree, but leave the other two, because it's not mine. It should, I think, be his. Instead of just cutting a horizontal and coming down, because of the bulge, that means I'm cutting way half the tree, a super big notch. I'm going to try and rotate my notch a little bit that way. And because uh, I'm going to have to cut from the top down unless I leave a huge stump. And I don't want to leave a huge stump there because we're going to have barbed wire going across it. So I'm going to try and do it more on this plane as opposed to a horizontal plane because of the bulge. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> In concept, it's going to. I just need a sharper chain. All right, had a little lunch break. Now it's time to feed some cubes to the buffalo, and then let's get back there and get that tree down. I still got to sharpen this thing. Okay, come on. Stretching. I think since we've moved the troughs, there's less um, 
problems. They're obviously still shift, but they seem to just have a little more room to maneuver. With all the cubes now being out, this is really our best time to actually look at these up close and see how they're doing. Now, I know the last video, you saw all these, you know, body condition scoring and, our, you know, we probably showed you the worst animals we have. We did try and show some other stuff up there of good animals. If there's an animal that I really like, their body, oh, what's their condition? No, their conformation. conformation, it's 139. She got a really nice hump. She just looks very nice. If you look at some of these other ladies, like over here, the humps aren't quite as defined and pronounced upward. So I really like 139 for what she's just looks like. Even eating, it's a nice pronounced hump. So I like that. Some of the ladies are just shallower. Whew, bug. But take a look at some of these, okay? All right. I don't want you thinking that from that body condition scoring that, oh, all of our animals are just looking like they're emaciated, but she looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good, okay? Are they perfect? No, but it's still the middle of mating season in a pretty hot, dry summer. See, that's 139. You see that? Nice hump. Comes all the way back. She just looks good. These are the kind of nitpicky things you kind of look at if you're going to try and trim the herd down. Just know that a lot of the animals look a lot better than what we showed you last time. Okay, I'm on her. All right, number eight. She was one that I could start seeing some of the udders, and then her backside is really puffy. Now, I'm not saying that we're actually gonna have a baby, but the udders, when they're not filling up, are definitely not pinkish. Hers were looking more pink. You can kind of see the udders if you go down a little lower. They're kind of pink. And she's a little bit puffy, so I don't really expect any more calves. But you just hate to give up all hope. Time will tell. Can't forget these little yearlings, but they won't let me in. They like their cubes. When will they learn? When will they learn? There are two troughs. I don't know. What do you think, pumpkin? Do you think they'll ever learn that there's two troughs? No. Nope. No, probably not. We have 10 here and three over there. We're just glad they enjoy their cubes. They're growing up pretty well. I'm anxious and, I don't know, have a lot of anticipation of wanting to weigh them come November. Ah, November can't get here fast enough. I plan on doing this around Thanksgiving. So that's my initial goal already. If we happen to have some more babies, that might change. But uh, otherwise, we're going to go with that date for now. Alright, let's not forget about our little piggies. They're so cute, they're doing great. I'd like to have some water. Fresh water, they always have water though. No pig pigs. These are cute! Like the wizard I am, I don't have a chainsaw sharpener for that size chain. So I originally got it when I had this dude. Farm boss, farm boss, it's the 271. Anyway, dude's stout, dude's heavier, I can feel it. It's amazing how much two pounds or three pounds or whatever it is. If you're not aware and you're a homeowner, the chains are different sizes, which, whatever. So the one I had only worked for this guy, so I'm gonna use this. I've sharpened it, because it was pretty dull. Had started it up, should work fine. And I cannot leave that tree. I was thinking, gosh, dang it, it's getting hot. Sun's kind of going down. Did the buffalo, did all that other junk, but I can't leave a tree just sitting there.
guys, because I think what we need to do is really get the grapple on the tractor, start clearing out some of this. This is our first line. We haven't seen another marker all the way to the corner, so this is 250 feet. So we're gonna get a line going from there, probably maybe put an H here, and then just do one H all the way down. So anyway, trees down, grapples next. So to be continued, guys, we got some posts going and some lines. We're desperate to get pastures open. Our animals are killing our two pastures with a drought, and um, we just really need to buckle down and get this done. So also, we are still working on the handling facility. We're just waiting for other materials and so forth, and a time I can break from work and go pick stuff up. So that's still on the agenda. We'll probably pick it up again this week, but we've got our main posts all the way around. So it's just a matter of building up these H braces and get it done. So keep with us guys, like, and subscribe. We will catch you next time on Black Acre Ridge. Bye.